Hello, Wojciech Pietrzak again here. My opponent Simon says Simon O'Brien from England, 200 points in my favor and let them decide because I need this victory and Simon is the guy who had beaten me in online World Cup despite being perched four times. Now this is not a bad hand and I think containment is the obvious headline after which this is just a non-problematic hand if perched and a superior hand otherwise. Lewis was the, was the reference to the BBC series I am watching because this was the reason why I asked him to postpone the game which was previously planned an hour earlier. Socialist governments, well, this may cost me Italy to which I can't really respond. But containment should give me five hops extra because Asia scoring is Fido. A very low card to coup but unfortunately for me it was kind of sort of successful. So let's just create multiple threats at once hoping that if he secures Italy he's not gonna be able to cover his other problems. So he rolled a 5. A 4 would be enough to cut me from there. The rock is really warm. Do I need now? I don't need to rush with ops. Let's just pretend it's Middle East I want to score. But in the next action round I'll have to coup, probably with independent reds. Decal is waiting for blockade. Although I really doubt he's gonna blockade me when I'm under containment. But on the other hand, if I had played you an intervention, blockade would be a decent play and I don't want to have Deco and no UN intervention for the next turn even if I risk giving him Deco up. Ooh. Ooh. In this case I have to react this that way. And suddenly I may have not enough time to to do something in Asia. Okay, so let's hold this decal, but let's secure Asia. Because now duck and cover should grant me domination one way or another. And then Asia should be scored for six. Well, for five, sorry miscalculated something. Oh, France I guess. No. That was a surprise that he didn't take a chance to take France this way. 
So. to secure my domination somehow. Now, if he plays the China card, he's always gonna have it. Let's just not allow him. He's always gonna uh, take South Korea, I mean. And I didn't have enough power to take more battlegrounds. But at least Middle East doesn't look bad. I don't like that I... Oh, and he had to score this. And I have Asia scoring, so now it's 8 for me. But Europe doesn't look very, very good. Okay, this is a hand I certainly don't want to have red skirt, so defectors is the headline. Shocking start for me. Europe should be relatively safe because... Okay, he has Italy and so far I don't look like I can grab it from him, so... If he has Truman now, he's probably going to keep Italy. But he shouldn't be able to dominate. Even if he held in Suez, okay, he's defected. But if he had held in Suez and not be defected, taking France would still be addressable to by Mediterranean countries and Canada. Suez crisis, speaking of which. Of course, I'm glad that it had been defected anyway. Coups, I have a counter coup. Although my best bet may be Iraq, which is not so good. And my best card may be Five Year Plan, which is also not so good. The hand is gonna be played to its full extent. Oh, he had a red score. And he could Panama, to which I don't have a counter actually. So, let's go Iraq. Okay, this was a good roll. So my now priorities. I think Thailand, Libya, something in Europe. Getting rid of the cards I have, which means blockade with the goal. Decal to space race. Ooh, ooh, this was the Truman I didn't want him to play. Europe is the priority now. No, Space Race is the priority. I play the entire hand. Decal is an obvious Space Race, so let's be the first to be there. US, Japan, preferably the last play. Okay, so Europe is scored two ops. Not gonna cry about it. <laughs> Let's 
let's get rid of this. always good to have. So Comic-Con, Romanian probably has to be responded immediately. Or not, Europe has been scored and Thailand and Libya look more important as targets. Libya is even more important than Thailand right now. Vietnam Revolts is gone, Dico may come back, but let's hope it doesn't. And Romania, maybe? I'm <laughs> not really sure whether better play or not than Comic Con. What about Independent Reds? Discarded. So let's play Comic Con first, because if he has distal, it's better for me than he, for me to see him distalling the Comic Con influence than the Romanian one. So Libya. And Thailand, as said. Romanian to Burma, I guess. To keep access to India in case he draws and wins another war. And US Japan to Italy if he forgets to overprotect it. Or maybe to break Korea and Iraq otherwise. I know I'm wasting two ops instead of one by breaking two countries at once. But it may pay off hugely since both Asia and oh got rid of CIA. Both Asia has to start and Middle East offer three VPs for presents. So he has the Cambridge 5 and this tau. So it means that if I play US Japan into Italy now, <laughs> he may counter it with the China card. Uh, <laughs> And Romanian can be distilled immediately. Okay. Let's go here then. And here. Yuck. But if he plays distal now, at least he leaves Italy unsecured. So I should regain Europe and I'm gonna worry about Americas later. He can't overprotect everything unless he gives me the China card or unless he plays this all for Robs, which would make me even happier. Good news, I'm dominating two regions. I have eight VPs. Bad news, he remembered to over control Italy. He has distal. Okay. So let's threaten something here. Secure European. Points. Yeah, 
and take some small walk towards Nigeria. <laughs> Red Scar Perch was mine. He wants to play Distal for the event. But purging him would be nice anyway. I think I am go going to do it. If he allows me cooing. I don't really have a good target. Maybe headlining Red Scar wasn't the best idea ever. Because he has Korean War, I guess, and Distal. Maybe eventing m multiple cards. On the other hand, I didn't really have much better headlines. As now, for example, his fight for France may turn out to be not so easy. Uh, he had NATO. But even this doesn't give him domination in Europe in the long run. Should I coup or not? If I fight for France I'm gonna find myself in a situation where he has some perfect distal target. Europe would be for three in his favor. I'm still thinking about this cooing Iraq. He will have his meal ups anyway. Cameroon. Okay then, let's go to Nigeria, equalize Europe in the sense that he's only gonna get three from there. And yes, give him one more coup target, but he can only coup one target at once. That was a case of what I was talking about, some not very effective purge against Simon. I think I'll dump Europe ASAP, not gonna get much better. Of course if I can dump it for 3 points rather than 7. Otherwise, I'm gonna fight. I should have gone to France rather than Cameroon. And who could tell? Nine minutes used by me, eleven and a half used by my opponent, sixty minutes per game per player, so we are both okay with timer. I hope he has the remaining scorings, although it makes my perch even more ineffective. Warsaw Pact influence. Japan. Okay, let's dump it. I sincerely doubt that 
that he's gonna seriously take Japan. If he does. I should take going within the Pakistani war. Hmm. Now the question is, do you intervene in socialist governments and just trigger Nasser or you intervene Nasser and space socialists? Or space shows socialists trigger Nasser and keep you an intervention. Hmm. Yep, this event. Okay, Nasser will be played, but this is gonna be played before. Not scared about Thailand flip, because the China card is only worth 4 in Asia due to perch, so perch may be somewhat effective. But the VPs don't look as good any longer. it to break North Korea but I thought it wasn't worth it and I wouldn't like to bet all things on one single card oh so here's Fido yep so I guess my best bet with Nasser is to realign him from Cuba failed Mexico it would work so next turn this is already a quite good hand with no obvious headline candidates I think I'm gonna headline US Japan, but this is just to avoid him play having it to Missile Envy. This Missile Envy now gives him chair. On the other hand, is it worth? Let's calculate kitchen debates. Minus three in Europe, plus one Middle East, so it's minus two, plus two Asia, so it's zero, plus two Africa, so it's plus two, equal, equal, plus two. I'm even unsure about brush war target. Hmm. US Japan I'd really like 
its hops to score Southeast Asia. Hmm. And the hell with this. Okay, South African unrest. So I'm not gonna keep Africa too long. Zaire, yes. I guess this inactivates my kitchen debates. Yes, it is indeed. So let's just tell him what I have and ask for some response. Alliance for Progress would be premature, so gonna be played for ops but I think OAS goes first to make some good targets for Alliance for Progress That's the best I can do. If he has this scoring, he's gonna score it now. Or some yes, decent points. So this is a well-prepared Southeast Asia, it literally can't get any better. <coughs> and then Che, I think I'll let Che go and just counter coup Cameroon. <coughs> Brush war against Italy. Probably, although it's been scored. Space race, grain service. Southeast Asia first. Even better targets for brush war. <laughs> and yeah, I wanna have mill ups to be able to grab Red Scar Perch with salt. So, event first. So the story goes. Oh yes, and decide to avoid another coup. Roll the six, very fortunately. So the story goes again. He's gonna be red scored multiple times. War against Nigeria is tempting, but against Italy is even more tempting. Mm -hmm. What can I do in Africa? Even taking battlegrounds doesn't help, so 
just giving it up is probably the best I can do. Especially that brush war against Italy was successful. So Middle East, Asia, Central America, Africa are the remaining scorings and they look good except Africa. But with the power of red score or grain sales, although grain sales not as strong with high defcon and CIA gone. Africa and sold negotiations to grab Red Scar. Okay, this hand isn't the best I could have. But fortunately we will bury you is not a death con suicide, so I may even sacrifice three victory points to have four ops. Okay. From it and to let it go. Africa scoring is what what's the nastiest here. If he drops Stefka now, we will bury you is actually a very good response in Africa because oh and he does it by an influence direct placement because it denies him a counter coup That being said, I must admit I have absolutely no chance to fight for Africa successfully. This was an attempt to minimize the negative impact. He's gonna score 5. And I doubt if I can reduce it. Portuguese Empire crumbles. Will work for him as well. China Cultro Usuri. This looks nice. A six. I may always hope for some Kennedy. Hmm, where's the Korean War? Nowhere close. needs some attention. Now 
500 Mr. Lanvey for the event. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll give you the China card. By not playing it, I'm not giving up the Formosan resolution at least. By playing it forcefully, I give myself some chance to realign Nigeria. that wasn't the best idea to get rid of we will bury you but on the other hand otherwise I'd only reduce Defcon to 3 which he could safely play missile envy as well so it wasn't the worst as well Ivory Coast, but only for one up. Hmm. I think I need you. I also think I'm gonna play Portuguese Empire Crumbles. His paces. Successfully, so I have to counter with Space Race attempt as well. Successlessly. Spaces again, again successfully. Now I keep rolling poorly, so either it's Kennedy or I'm losing six points. <laughs> if he hadn't had the China card. We would probably play Africa because Suri would be super powerful. In such an Asia. On the other hand, if he now equalizes, yes, Af to South Korea and Japan. Oh, well, Central America. He didn't have millops. Middle East and Asia scoring. All the best scorings. The voice of America is the great counter to whatever he had lines. And a great threat creator if he doesn't have line anything meaningful plus I can attack Asia really heavily now a good hand I got a good hand Okay, Latin American death squads. I 
let's just say you don't have time to play in America, my friend. If he calls Mexico, it's gonna cost him either empty Asia or empty Middle East or both. This was a wise decision from him. Thinking about cooing Mexico, agreeing to minus one. And I, I will do it, I guess. And I think I'm gonna use nuclear subs instead. Unfortunate, but he doesn't get his. Cool. So... I don't think I could grab much more from Middle East. So I will score it quite soon. Panama Canal returned is a good event, but not now. Now Middle East scoring first. Panama Canal and perhaps how I learned secure some things there. But sooner or later Usuri is gonna attack both Koreas and ask for some cards in your hands. Okay, that was a move I didn't understand really. Of course it's it denies arms race, it gives him milops, it gives him great realignment target in Zaire. But it doesn't work in the regions to be scored. Okay. Now let's break here first. Four more cards to, to play. Hold card, hold card. Not an easy choice. I think this is where I play relatively weakly, when I have too many good cards at once. Realigning anyway. In Venezuela, quite luckily. Okay, so please show me how do you respond to this attack.
Hmm. Now can I do? What this was meant to be played for Rob's anyway. So, oh, that was great. Okay, so no reason to rush for more. Realignment, yes, a year and Angola. And this was clever. But now I'm gonna set up my realignments here. In Central America, the last region to be scored. Yes, he's going to control Africa. Maybe I shouldn't have allowed this. Oh, he's spacing puppet governments and he succeeded it. So... He is going to see my headline. Therefore, I don't believe arms race can bring me very many points. Ouch, this was unlucky. This was even more unlucky. Finally, this one was lucky. And Junta in my hand is very lucky. Actually, this is another great hand I got. And I think I'm gonna go with Junta to Mexico and Ku Mexico. All the scoring came back. Colonial rare cards. Maybe my option to fight for Africa somehow. But I'm not a believer. However. I have some meaningful source of victory points elsewhere. For example, Central America can bring me... Oh, ooh, not as many points as I would like it to. change of plans and a poor coup so now I will have to fight against his control of Central America I should be able to do it but this means I won't be able to win the game on the spot. Hold card? Not really sure. Maybe Muslim Revolution hoping for some Alox. OPEC influence? I'm not convinced about this. Okay, I think it's Colonial's time to... Mm, 
mess up with his Africa a little. No. Now I need Tempi first. Columbia is a bait for him. Coup in Nicaragua. Guatemala is more important than Nicaragua because Mexico can be realigned to my control and because it's not a DEFCON problem if Ortiga comes to my hand. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Heavy coup, heavy coup. and try to realign it at zero. And realign his axis out. I did not. So then Central America scoring is gonna be dumped no matter what. Then colonial regards into Africa. Okay, I got this. So Korean War is something I don't really need. So African unrest as well. I'm thinking about Europe scoring. Statistically, I should be in favor. Let's keep it in the deck. Africa didn't really get much worse than it used to be, so let's first play Central America scoring. The main change now is that if he doesn't score Africa this turn, Uh, colonial rare cards are going to be played as the last action round. So Cambridge, Nixon and Colonials. Maybe Nixon first. Or maybe Cambridge first. Korea? China to South Korea, actually, now that war is no, ouch, ouch, no longer of a concern. Shit. Grabbing cow would be decent. Shit, shit, America. Cow, China. Oh. Let's keep China, DEFCON is too much of a concern now. And I should win it on the map. Unless some very unlucky scarring scum. Thank you. 
two ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the colonial records are not going to be as breaking as I hope them to be. And he's going to see my headline. But I'm leading by 12. Asia and Middle East are on mine. So let's just hope for some lucky timing of the scorings and war games, war games! Other than that, this may be problematic. Okay, Chernobyl and Europe scoring in the final scoring is also a chance. Not really a big chance about Defcon, unless some Red Scarport keeps him with two Defcon suicides which are unspaceable, like Duck and Cover and Crane Sales, because he can no longer space a two of Scarred. Still envy too risky. Puppet governments let it be. The worst card I could imagine under these circumstances. Far from the best as well, of course. Strongly depends on how well it goes. But Asia scores. A six. So two more and I'm winning and some small cards giving me two points each. Maybe, maybe. Plus I can possibly maybe boost Asia by one. But if I fail South America will drop the score to some unacceptable level. So Marine Barracks bombing is the first discard. I'm wondering about Latin American death crisis. Success on first attempt. So now, if you have Africa scoring, it's recommended for you to play it now. To which, oh, you're cooing. Cooing, you say.
this should go first. Defcon warning, not important because Cuba is free from my influence. So now I am concerned mostly about Africa scoring, but if he has it I can't help it. Okay, this was another concern. Let's boost this scoring and Soviets shoot down cow. And let's fight for South America. Because maybe I can save myself there from his domination by the number of countries. him more, but only slightly more, and this damned Africa keeps the final outcome open wide. I'm boosting Europe and Africa. We boost Asia in this case. With missile MV because I won't get any good opportunity to play it for ops uh, for the event. So Asia. Space race failed. But my best bet in South America is cooing Uruguay, granting me uh, military operations and hoping for no domination. Best card to do it is Latin American Death Crisis, discarding Muslim Revolution, because I want to have. Oh, whatever. So I don't. I'm not having war games. And I'm not rolling well. Hmm. So I'm gonna drop to 12 and I'll have to hold this 12 until the final scoring. Europe, Africa, Middle East are scorings left. Can be tough. Plus Aldrich Ames and Long Gunman are still somewhere around waiting. <laughs> Nuclear subs. Africa can't be more red than this. Of 
Sivas Crisis. Not this car, not removed. Of course, no defectors. I think terrorism is the best headline now. Special relationship should be a good play somewhere in the middle of the turn. I'll have to s accept socialist governments unless he plays the Iron Lady. Now, if he has Africa scoring, it's recommended for him to headline it right now. If he doesn't, he caused Middle East scoring. Brush war. Oh. Brush war is what I drew to terrorism. So it was a great draw. Coup in Libya. You have merely scoring by any chance. And Africa, I don't like this. Okay, there is some time to breathe. So let's space succeeded, so he now may only space once. But I have to take back some map. And fighting back for the map. It's gonna start from Central America because this is where I can do the best. Africa is a tragedy. Americas will make it even worse if I can't repair it until turn 10. In which case I'm gonna lose the game. Which I can't afford and I'd rather avoid. You even had that? But I'm not giving you silent. No way. Since you forced me to spend a box, I'm gonna play into Arabia just to dominate one more region. Cool. We can work your way up.
this doesn't really create an immediate threat so I don't have to wait until the end of the turn and maybe he disactivates socialist governments or activates solidarity none of these but he allows me Okay, solidarity is now pointless, because Poland won't be taken by me, and the decider is gonna be Germany. So let's play Pershing deployed first, because I am gonna play all my 8 action rounds. Pershing is something I have to address immediately. China cars, what do you have there, my friend? Okay, resolve socialist governments first. Spain, Portugal, was it wise or wasn't it? Good question. Can't really do anything about Africa. So let's hope for some lucky Europe. Africa and I got Langan man. <laughs> but I also got tear down this wall. And how I learned to stop worrying. have the China card which he can't take from me. So I'll have to swallow Africa, but at least I may be able to dominate Europe. It all depends on the rolls against France now. taking a chance against Nigeria with Glasnost would also be welcome. Ooh, Red Scar Perch in the very last action turn hurts very much. And the rolls weren't decent enough if he has a 4.
but if he has a four and goes into France... Oh! He's giving me a battleground coup, I was just about to say. But he's not. Ooh. dominate Europe at least for a while now Glasnost against Nigeria is a must I think I'm gonna bet on Iran-Iraq war Maybe I'm gonna bet on Algeria, Algeria realignments, but this doesn't really change much. East European unrest doesn't change much as well, unless he plays John Paul and ignores it. But it's a good card to be held. He has a four. So give up France or give up Africa. What are the odds in Nigeria? I need to roll a six combined. So, but if I roll a, th a three, he may just take it directly. <sighs> Plus, flipping Nigeria is a four VP swing, and allowing France is a six VP swing. On the other hand, Nigeria is gonna count twice. And France may not, depending on whether he has it or not. Not even worth cooing in Africa by anything else. But if I get a chance. I'll have to, because what else? Defcon's raised, raised to three, and this is something which may be overlooked from time to time. Okay, he gives me back my two victory points and Defcon. East European unrest. Nah, but if he takes France, it's only a draw in Europe. In for a penny, in for a pound. I have to fight for Europe. And this is namely France, because otherwise I'm gonna lose the game despite leading hugely right now unless he has two defcon suicides but he doesn't because otherwise he just drop one of them now being able to space fuck it This not really helpful, so in advance I'd like to thank you for watching, see you next time and 
this was a game after which I have 11 victories and 7 defeats and need to win two more games to get to playoffs, so this should be very, very difficult. This was lucky. So now it's twenty one versus ten, it's eleven in his favor, twelve if he can't the China card, so this would be exactly a draw if I didn't have Africa scoring in hand. So Africa scoring and as my last action round how I learned mm, how I learned worth one victory point because this one influence wouldn't make any difference. Well if I had to lose playoffs, losing it against Simon is not a big punishment. I really like this guy we've met several times. A very nice British man. We hope to meet in 2020 in TS convention in London, but some nasty little invisible things distracted these plans. I may chat with him, hoping for his time limit expiration, but I wouldn't do this now, because he certainly deserved this victory. Just by stopping me from winning when I had Asia scoring. That's funny, quite the reverse of what the game goes on usually. USSR seems to be close to winning, but if he doesn't, he loses the game eventually in the final scoring or earlier. Now I was very close to winning, I had 17 points once, but eventually lost. <laughs> hey, this is the best bet, not that it changed anything. So 16 in his favor, not even a draw, but due to Central American changes. Thank you for watching and see you next time.